James Kaufman, World News Report Today. In breaking news, JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, has just released new information on a space rock that will be headed for a close approach to Earth on August 31st. The close approach will put the rock flying between the Moon and Earth, we hope. This information has just come out. This is 2025Q07. This is going to be an inner solar system rock, as you can tell. And there is its trajectory. You can see that it is coming in at a slight inclination. And it's going to make its extremely close approach to Earth. On August 31st, we will look at some close approach data. This rock is said to be about 60 feet in diameter, plus or minus, which means it's about as large as a six-story building. Nothing to play around with. It's coming in at about 8.2 kilometers per second, which is not an extremely fast-moving space rock. It's about average, I would say. And it is at a slight inclination, but not a huge inclination. A rock like this would probably make it through the atmosphere based on what we're seeing here, if this information turns out to be accurate. Now, what I will do is I will advance a day or two to the 31st. There is the 28th. 29th, 30th, and the 31st. And it is right on top of Earth, as you can see. Going to be a close shave, folks. All right, taking a look at some orbit parameters here. It looks like they just gave us this information. Solution date here, August 27th, as in today. Total observations, only 27 observations over a one-day period. It was first spotted just yesterday. I don't feel confident at all about this information. Here, we see a condition code of 8, about as bad as it gets. This tells us they have no idea how big it is or where it's going. Zero, meaning... They're giving you highly certain information. Nine, meaning they're giving you highly uncertain information. They rate this condition code as an eight. It was spotted by our AI automatic software, but of course. And again, it's inbound for the 31st of August. We'll take a look at that. Now they've only been able to extrapolate two additional passes one in 2027 where it won't be coming near as close as it's about to come and one in 2136 where it will be quite a distance away from earth let's look at what's happening on the 31st at 1409 so 709 central in the morning here in the U.S., it's going to make its close approach to Earth at 0 .00183 or .00182. Those are astronomical units, and that's measured from the center of Earth out. You can see that it's going to come about .0039. Really, 4.004 .004 away from the moon. So it's going to be much closer to Earth than the moon. The moon is about 225,000 miles away. Let's see what we have here when we do a little figure. And real quickly, taking in two determination the diameter of Earth, looks like it's going to be about 85,000 miles away from Earth. But with a condition code of 8, that means they really have no idea at this point. They will improve 
those numbers, i.e. the condition code will improve and they'll get a better idea. And I will update this, but right now, highly uncertain to fly, well, about 85,000 miles from Earth and going to make it between Earth and the Moon. And this is all going to happen just after 7 a.m. Central Time on August 31st. So we do have a couple of days, four days, to think about it. So there we have it. 2025 Q07 inbound, about 60 feet in diameter. Not a huge inclination. 8.2 kilometers per second speed-wise. And, well, we don't know if this one's going to give us any problems yet at this time. We do have a very, very high condition code, which is always worrisome. That said, God bless you guys. Stay safe. And if it lands in your backyard, don't call the authorities because they're going to take it away. And it's worth millions. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world.